We continue now. A big meeting at Norfolk City Hall and a bribery investigation involving officials from the city of Norfolk. That difficult discussion is happening right now amongst council members. At five, we showed you Andy Zobie's office being cleaned out. He's accused of bribing like city officials in exchange for getting preferential treatment for his company, which does plumbing work. Well, now council is discussing discussing how the city should handle those accusations. Town of your sides, Jason Marks is there, continuing our coverage for us. Jason. Yeah, Nicole, in just a few minutes, uh, Marcus Jones, city manager here in Norfolk, will address those allegations to the media. He is expected to call for two separate investigations uh, into uh, allegations of bribery here at City Hall. Now, it appears the federal government uh, is using those two witnesses, those two Norfolk employees, as witnesses to testify against Andrew Zobie. Those employees have not been charged, but the city manager would like to see the state police come in and investigate and possibly pursue state charges against the employees. Let's give you a little background here, show you how we got to this point. The U.S. Attorney's offices began investigating this bribery case a year ago. They say two Norfolk City employees were receiving bribes from local contractor Andrew Zobi. As you mentioned, Zobi's with AT Zobi Mechanical here in Norfolk. The U.S. Attorney's Office claims that Zobi gave money to those employees in exchange for his company to get extra work. At this point, we haven't heard the names of the employees. We did talk with Vice Mayor Anthony Burfoot a short time ago. He wants to know who those names are, too. Some things don't happen again in the future. Are you interested in finding out who the employees are? Uh, I am, but if there's an ongoing investigation by the federal government, I want to respect that and respect the investigation. Uh, and there will be a time and a place where the administration should, and I hope, uh, would uh, give us all of the inf pertinent information uh, uh, as a council so we could, again, be able to speak intelligently about it. Does it concern you? Now, the city manager is also expected to announce an internal investigation. They want to see if there are other employees who are, were involved in this bribery uh, case. They also want to know if there were other employees who knew about it. So a lot going on here at City Hall, as we mentioned. Marcus Jones is expected to make this announcement to the media in a matter of minutes. We're going to go back upstairs to the 10th floor and we'll have the latest for you coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 11. But for now, that's the latest here in Norfolk. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.